hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm sharing my updated 2022 evening routine i don't know if it's that much updated from last year anyway some of you guys requested for it so here it is so today i actually have a meeting at a mouse after work so i will uh, add that clip in here they have some updates for you guys regarding the matulan so that's where i'll be heading next by the way, before I forget, I have a new Jumia discount code for the month of March. So the discount code is i tech Magi. It will give you 200 bob off your orders and it has a minimum spend of 500 bob. Hey yes. guys, um, so I stopped by at the most properties and I'm with Wycliffe here. Um, we usually go to site visit with him. He is my agent actually. So he's going to talk to you guys about um, the development and the lands that are available um, currently in Matu. Matu? Yes. Alone. Yes. Yes. So uh, all the questions he will answer today, those questions that you always ask me on the comment section and on the DM, He'll answer them today so <laughs> thank you so much Maggie for visiting us today mm -hmm. actually uh, allow me to welcome your fans actually to the, this new month mm -hmm. uh, we are glad and privileged and um, majority of them mm -hmm. they have been with us during the journey of investment since we started yeah, yeah actually mm -hmm. it has been very very nice mm -hmm. and we really appreciate it mm -hmm. for those who have invested with us thank you so much we mm -hmm. still have a lot of stock for those who haven't invested yet mm -hmm. so basically today i just want to brief you about the development that have gone mm -hmm. have taken place since you bought mm -hmm. since you started with us mm -hmm. until where we are today mm -hmm. so actually a lot have really really changed mm -hmm. yes unfortunately townsview it's sold out let me be the bearer of bad news <laughs> uh -huh. It's not actually bad news per se. It's bad news for them, good news for you. Okay. <laughs> we say that. So we can say for those who delayed a little bit mm -hmm. or because of one reason or the other, uh, Townsville is already sold out. Mm -hmm. It was a very nice project that we had. Mm -hmm. But the good news is that we still have a very nice project called Sunview. Mm -hmm. The one that we talked about, which is behind the county government offices, mm -hmm. just two kilometers from the Tamak Road. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's one of uh, the the newest, mm -hmm. uh, let's say, project with a very nice price. Because mm -hmm. if you can remember, we we sold Sunview. By the time we were finishing, it was at three hundred and seventy nine. Mm -hmm. And you see, for Sunview, we have an introductory price of two hundred and ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Just the way other projects started. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we are speaking right now, people are really buying Sunview, but we still have some available plots. So, so 50 by 100 and quarters. You know, so for Sunview is only 50 by 100. Oh. But if you want quarters, you can still get them. You can combine two plots at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yes. So there's a lot of development you have taken place, mm -hmm. actually. Uh, we can see the road is being expanded. Mm -hmm. That is the Tika Garissa Highway. There is a plan of doing a dual carriage. First, I will tell people where Matu Town is. <laughs> Matu Town is actually Matu is Macha, is in Machakos uh, County, mm -hmm. in Yata constituency. So it's located <clears throat> it's located along the Tika Garissa Highway. Uh, it's the one of the fastest growing towns in Machakos County, but. It is only 40 minutes drive from Thika Town and 1 hour 30 minutes away from Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So for those who keep on asking where is Matu, mm -hmm. where is Matu, just come for a site visit. You know, you're there, well, you well, know, you're there, Matu in Bali. Yeah, you come back, you come back, it's a developed town. It's a developed town <laughs> and from the videos that you showed them previously, yeah. mm -hmm. For those who have not been there, once we took them to the site, actually were in one instant. Mm. Seeing is believing. Yeah, true. So uh, it's a positive thing for those who have never gone to Matu, still want to invest that place because it has a lot of benefits. Mm -hmm. It's beefed up with security. Mm -hmm. Ukiona, like the, the biggest NYS school is in Yata constituency, mm -hmm. uh, and Matu is in that constituency. There's also a, a, a police station near the projects. Mm -hmm. There is the county government offices which have been set there. Mm -hmm. And also there are a lot of, uh, let's say, supermarkets, shopping center, mm -hmm. uh, banks coming up in Matu. Mm -hmm. So it's actually a place which has a potential growing in less, let's say, one year to come to be a totally different place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
back to Sunview. Yeah. So, <laughs> so for Sunview, actually, what we've done so far in Sunview, mm -hmm. uh, the road that was connected from the main tarmac road up to the site, mm -hmm. it has it has been created, so already done. It's a very smooth road all the way to the, mm -hmm. to the site, mm -hmm. and then the access roads in the site, the, the the site we've expanded them. Mm -hmm. You remember last year there were a lot of rains mm -hmm. and there were a lot of. Uh, let's say weeds blowing up and we down the roads mm -hmm. they are very clear mm -hmm. we fenced all round mm -hmm. and then we did a, a, a very nice gate mm -hmm. so the next time you go there mm -hmm. you will actually find a sign post mm -hmm. showing these are places into sun view mm -hmm. yeah i think there's the, and then there's a client also who is interested also to, to make his settlement because mm -hmm. it's just near the county government offices mm -hmm. he, he will be commuting mm -hmm. towards that place so I can see those are some of the development around the site, but maybe someone don't want to miss out. Just like <laughs> So as usual guys, I will link the number in the description box down below for you guys. Call them, they are always available to answer all your questions. And you can book a site visit very easily Wednesdays and Saturdays. Yes, yes. Wednesdays and Saturdays, they usually do site visits. So you can go check it out for yourself, do your own research and invest 2022 don't just put the money in the bank invest people <laughs> yeah for the site visits are free of charge guys yeah. we do pick lands all the way from our office yeah. we're located here at GL complex mm. and for those who are in car west we also have a branch there just a remainder so we pick lands all the way from nairobi to matu and yeah. then we bring them back we leave in a between... very comfortable van <laughs> yeah sure and, uh, so from from 8 a.m to 8 30 that's the time that we leave mm -hmm. and that not nairobi before noon so mm -hmm. it's something that you can plan yourself have our site to visit get to get your plot before they also run out so thank you so much Maggie, for coming yeah, yeah. Thank appreciate you. it Bye. <laughs> Back home now, the first thing I do is removing all my jewelry, of course, before stepping into the shower. Today, I'm removing even the second and the third piercing ones to soak in surgical spirits. That's how I wash them. I will leave them to soak for about 30 minutes. In the evenings actually is when I do majority of my prepping. I will either do my eyebrows, oil my hair and also try pick out a self care thing to do. Just one or two. That's how I keep up with my self care routine with my busy schedule. Tonight I am working on my eyebrows just neatening things up. I had my microblading uh, I had my microblading done at Rimp and Cottle by the way. They are located in Andy Center in Westlands. So I have this organizer I got at Trophy Wife Kenya. It comes as a set. I usually put all my small products in here. You know those things that will uh, clutter the dressing table easily. I have them all in here. My lip mask, scrubs, eye gel, night and day serums, etc. For self care today I chose to scrub my lips. I am using this lip scrub I got from my luxury spa. It's made of pink sea salt in coconut oil. I love it. It makes my lips so soft. It's a duo by the way. On the other side it has a lip mask. Also really amazing. Off to the shower, I am first brushing out my hair nicely, making sure I don't have any tangles. I got my hair done by Maureen as always. I will link her number in the description box down below. Time to take my evening shower. I have been using the Geisha Almond and Shea Butter Soap on my face of late. It's nice and I actually really like the scent too. Every evening after work I have to cleanse my face. That's a must because I've been touching my face throughout the day. have to make sure it's squeaky clean and I'm using the La Roche Posay Forming Cleanser. To wash my body, I use the Dettol Skincare Shower Gel in the evenings. Make sure I have removed germs I have collected throughout the day. Oh, 
so some evenings i will shave or do a body scrub since i shaved yesterday today i'm scrubbing my body and i'm using the coco colada tree hut uh, scrub So at night I go very light with a uh, moisturizer that I use. So I either use bio oil or the bad, <laughs> Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy, Eucalyptus and Spearmint Stress Relief Moisturizing Body Oil. Um, so this is the one that I use at night, either this or bio oil. And for my face I normally use the Nivea Petroleum Jelly Essence one. Um, so this one is the Coco Butter one. Um, I love it because it's very moisturizing um, yet very light on my face. It doesn't feel very heavy on my face. So those are the only things I apply at night when I go um, in the evening. Before I go to bed. Okay, I'm not going to bed now but uh, my hair has caught water. I need better shower cups. These ones that I have. I think they've expanded because when I have braids, I use them. When I have weave, I use them. When I have flat hair, just my hair, I still use them. So they've expanded a bit. So this is how they look. I'm a bit lazy to like. <laughs> Move the camera, but this is how the PJs look. So me, I'm currently a size. Um, I'm currently size. I'm ten. I'm size ten, and you can see how baggy they are on me. So I saw them on It's Waidera's, um Instagram page. She was advertising them, and I got two of them. The other one is dirty. I wore it yesterday, but they're really comfortable and very cute. So I'll link them in the description box down below in case you're interested. Um, because at the top of my head, I can't remember. I got a gift from Treasured Scent um, this week, so they sent me a wallflower plus the a wallflower plus the what is this the wall plug the refill for it and a wallflower I'm going to show you. Um, the packages come with notes, so this one says if it's in you, keep following your dream. No matter what i love this really cute uh, notes they add on their packages so the scent that i got is raspberry and whipped vanilla so this is a new fragrance it's fruity and it's happy it's a fruity scent it's a sweet scent this is the wall plug that i went with it has a pink uh, flower so this one i'm going to use in our bedroom since i already have another one for the living room this one i'm going to plug in our bedroom we don't have one here i think supposed to remove this so this is how it looks um and i'm going to plug it right there i have a socket um right over there so that's how i'm going to plug it this is so nice and it smells so amazing so again the scent that i went for is raspberry and whipped vanilla oh, very lovely <laughs> So I also got um, a delivery from Bosch Drip. Um, so this is how it came. I saw one of their bags. I was just scrolling on their page and I saw this really amazing bag. Um, they name it Ready for Business Tote Bag. So I got one and it's a big. I love big bags that can just fit everything. I travel with a lot of things. So this is the packaging. This is how it comes. And this is the bag. I love the straps more. So this is how the bag looks. It's grey and I know they have it. It has like a canvas uh, fabric on it. And I know they have it in another color. I'm guessing either brown or something. I'm not sure. So I'm going to use it immediately. So I'm going to switch um, out the bag that I had. Um, and put everything in here. 
I always pack my bag the night before that's if I want to switch bags I try my best to reduce things I have to do in the morning it makes getting ready so much easier For dinner I'm having Mr. Wok. This is the Kong Pao chili chicken with cashew nuts and vegetable fried rice. This is the second time I'm having this um, this week. I love it. Now it's just to eat, relax, watch either the rookie or some chick flick movies, then brush my teeth and I'm off to bed. So um, every night uh, after dinner I usually have some tea so today I'm having a pack from the fruit tea assortment and I've picked um, the apple and cinnamon one, really love um, this flavor. So I'm just going to put it in a cup, I'm not going to add any sugar or honey, I'm just going to add, hey, add hot water from the dispenser. Um, yeah, 